right so now we're going to be making this um render right here let me just show you so basically this is the render which we which we're going to make and we're also going to be making an animation uh from this same exact scene so i just made this animation right here um i, I just called it unforgivable because i think it sounds cool um and yeah so i'm pretty sure you've seen this animation um on youtube i did upload it on youtube so yeah basically this is i just imported a hammer from megascans and we just did some um we just imported some decals and some textures from megascans and we upload, we basically put them right here and i think it looks pretty decent so yeah let's um let's finish for, let's wait for this to finish and then we're going to be starting the work it's actually pretty simple. Um, you just need to import assets from Megascans and you need to build this whole scene, which I'm going to be guiding you through the whole process. And so yeah, that was the animation. Now let's begin with Unreal Engine. So what you're going to do is that first you're going to be opening Unreal Engine. And so basically you have two options after un opening Unreal Engine. Either you can just open an existing project in which you have um, basically the, the assets which you need um, already imported. So you can just open a pre-existing project and just create a new level in that and just work in that or you can just simply go to games and open a blank project when you're doing this make sure that ray tracing is turned on if you have an nvidia rtx graphic card if you don't then you can just turn it off however just do know that it's going to look slightly worse in quality and make sure to set it to blueprint and quality preset maximum and yeah just make sure that ray tracing is turned on and then you can name it whatever you want and then you can go ahead and create it However, I'm not going to do that because I already do have a project created in which I made this animation. And so I'm going to be using the same exact project uh, and, and I'm just going to be creating a new level in this so that I can reference back to this scene and we can um, take reference from this scene. Yeah, basically. Right. So uh, plus, I also have all the assets imported already. So I'm not going to waste your time trying to import those assets, if that makes sense. Right. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be simply going to file new level and I'm just going to be creating a brand new empty level. This process would be the same if you are creating a brand new um, project. You can just simply go ahead and create a new level in that as well. And just press Ctrl S to save it. Um, just click anywhere on the viewport and then press Ctrl S. I'm just going to be naming it, oops, my bad, old home underscore SS. That should be fine. Press Ctrl S and save all. And I think we are good to go. So what I like to do is firstly, I like to just create a landscape uh, just so that we have a floor to see what we're working with. So I'm just going to click the selection mode right here and I'm going to go down to landscape mode and then I'm going to be creating uh, I'm going to be pressing create. We're not going to be sculpting or anything like that. So I'm just going to go back to selection mode. Now let's work on the basic lighting setup. So for that, I'm going to go to window environment light mixer and in here I can just simply create all the basic lights which we want. And this is going to be most of our lighting setup already. Create skylight, atmospheric light, sky atmosphere, volumetric fog and height fog volumetric clouds and height fog my bad anyways so yeah um obviously we are not going to be using any outdoor lighting for this scene however but, but like to start actually building the scene we obviously do need some light so this is going to do the job for us before we move on let me just go ahead and turn on um real-time capture in this skylight however because if we don't do that for example if i just import um like a cube you can see that the shadow is going to be way too dark and it's looking very bad so if i just go ahead and turn on real-time capture in skylight you I'm, i want you guys to focus right here and if i turn this on you're going to see that it's going to become a lot brighter and it's going to look a lot more realistic as well so yeah that's what you want and yeah now let's start big and let's start to work um on the scene so i'm going to be starting from here what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be creating a wall first so for the wall i'm going to be actually you know what let me just undo that by pressing ctrl z and make sure that your um snapping is turned on for all um for all three for all three modifications the move the rotate and the scale just make sure snapping is turned on so that we can work with a proper scale a uniform scale so i'm just going to be scaling it up like this first i scaled it down in the y-axis then i'm scaling it up like that and so for a reference what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be importing a human being in this um scene so that we basically have an idea of what we're working with uh, now i already do have a human model and I'm going to be showing you how to do that, how to import this right now. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the internet. I'm going to search for Mixamo.com. Just go to Mixamo.com. And from here, you can basically download characters. And you can also animate those characters. Or you can upload your own characters and animate them. So yeah, there's, there are a lot of options. So firstly, you have to just log in. Uh, so I'm going to be logging in right now. Right, so now I'm inside of Mixamo. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to characters. 
and now we can just simply select any character which you want um, it doesn't really matter at this point however if you do plan to add a character to your scene for example we added one in this right here you're going to see that this, this character is sitting right there then you obviously want to make sure that you download a character which is appropriate to your scene if for example you download something like this <laughs> then obviously it's not going to look that realistic unless i mean of, of course you if you're going for like a stylized look then by all means but i'm going to be using this character right here so it's going to be this james right here and so you can either just go to animations and then you can just choose any animation you want or you can just simply download it with a depose if you just want it to uh, if you just want to use it as a reference so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be downloading an animation of it sitting so just search for sitting press enter and just make sure that you select the right animation because otherwise it's not going to look good i think something like that should be good sitting idle actually the hands are right here on its knees which is not something i want I want the hands to be hanging around. So maybe something like that. So basically these blue, uh, these blue animations, the animations which have the blue characters are basically supposed to be masculine animations and the ones which are in this pink um, character mannequin, they're supposed to be feminine animations. So just choose accordingly. Um, and I think that, yeah, I think that should be pretty good. Now you can obviously go ahead and modify the arm space and all that. So I'm going to be reducing the arm space slightly because it is looking a little wide. And obviously you can animate, you can uh, modify a lot of these um, settings as well. You have a lot of freedom in this. So just be sure to do that. I'm going to be pausing it right here because I'm going to be setting the animation. Uh, I'm going to be pausing the character right here. And I think that looks pretty decent. It is intersecting a little bit. So I'm going to be increasing the arm space just a tad bit. 40 I think should be fine. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Our character looks pretty decent. And now we can just simply go ahead and press download. Now, if this is your first animation, if you're, for example, downloading this uh, character for the first time, then you're going to do with skin. And for example, if I want to download further animations for this same exact character, then I'm going to be doing without skin um, in the later animations. Um, and apart from that, I think FBX binary is fine. Everything else is fine as well. Just make sure to download. And it is going to take a bit because it is, I think, 50 or 60 megabytes. So yeah, just let it download. And so while that happens, we're gonna, which we can just simply move and we can simply go back and um, continue building the scene. So I think something like that should be a good scale for the wall. And I'm going to go to my move tool and I'm going to press alt on my keyboard so that I can duplicate it. I think something like that should be fine for now. And then we can duplicate it once again and rotate it 90 degrees and then place it right there something like that and then we can scale it up now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be scaling everything uniformly and what that means is basically i'm not going to be scaling it up for example like this because what's going to happen is that when we apply texture to the, when we apply a texture to this that that texture is going to be stretching basically so let me just show you an example i'm going to go i'm going to be going down to um mega scans and let me just apply a random material to this which i downloaded for example this one right here if I scale it up, you're going to see that this texture is going to be stretching, if that makes sense. Yeah, so that's not something which you want. And so let me just undo that because obviously this is not a texture which you want. Um, so for that, to fix that, basically what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be scaling it up uniformly like that. And I mean, it is going to become slightly taller than these other ones. So if you, for, if for example, you want to make sure that they're on the same height, then you can just bring them down like that. And I mean just making it absolutely perfect isn't that necessary either so you can just keep it slightly above or something like that it really comes down to your personal preference and so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be duplicating these by pressing alt and i'm going to be placing them somewhere like that so that we basically have this um continuing and we can add a wall wherever we want and that should be good so i'm going to be duplicating this as well something like that so basically this wall is going to be this wall right here and so here we're going to be adding a staircase and above this we're going to be adding a roof so let's first add the roof and then we're going to be working on the staircase so let me just duplicate this move it right here and i'm going to be rotating it like that 90 degrees and i'm going to be moving it up also feel free to adjust your camera speed if you think it's a little too slow then you can 
scale it up, just increase it, and it's going to move the camera faster. And so I'm going to be placing it right there, and I'm going to be moving it, something like that, because obviously we're going to have the staircase continue up there. And so that's perfectly fine. And then what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be duplicating these two. Actually, I'm going to be duplicating this one as well. And I'm going to be moving them up because obviously we want them to be, we want them to continue above there. And so I'm going to be getting rid of this. Actually, I'm not going to get rid of this. I'm going to be moving this back because we want there to be a floor, right? And so I'm just going to be duplicating this and I'm going to be placing it right here. And then we can maybe move both of these a little to this side. If that makes sense. Now, if I just go down, you're going to see that it looks pretty decent. And that's exactly what we want. Maybe we can just move this slightly up because that um, edge was showing and it wasn't looking good. And so basically here we're going to be having that um, staircase and everything else seems to be perfectly fine. Now we're going to be covering these holes um, which are letting in sunlight, which is not something that you want. I'm going to be moving this right there. And I'm going to be scaling it up as well. Something like that. And I'm going to be moving it like that. Perfect. Yeah, so I think we're looking pretty good. Now what you can do is that we can move on to the next step, which is going to be adding the assets. So our basic outline, I believe, is done. Now we can move on to adding assets.